Hi, Hi, how are you doing? I'm easy, I'm easy. Have you have you checked your, your windshield? My windshield for what? My car? Uh, yes. <laughs> Where would I be doing that? <laughs> We've got strange requests. Okay, so let me check. Okay. Okay, cool. Hey. Are you okay? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Uh -uh. Why are you so pumped like that? It's me, I'm pumped up when you're when you're not. What do you mean? You know we're gonna be doing things like bungee jumping and kayaking and, uh, and taking tea. There's so many activities like um, there's paintballing, there's swimming uh, and not swimming like in a pool. I'm talking about swimming with crocodiles. Taking tea. Mm. Oh my god! There's one thing I'm scared of: skydiving. I can't. I can't even. Taking tea. Is it tea that you want, Kula? Come on, man. I'm Kenyan. Take tea for breakfast. Mm. 10 o'clock tea. Mm. Lunchtime tea. 4 o'clock tea. See, then you just say. Tea before we sleep. You just say. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Grand Black Safari, a travel and adventure show with a difference. My name is Kulabudi. And my name is Sanaipe Tande. Now we have a lot in store for you on this season. And of course, you know, our boss, yes. KG, has been sending us on several but wonderful and amazing adventures to very many scenic destinations here in Kenya. All in a bit, of course, to show off our beauty and the wealth that our country has to offer. Yes, we have been swimming with the dolphins. Uh, plunging down waterfalls. <laughs> the synchronized swimming. Learning different cultures and languages. Yeah, and of course, spending quality one-on-one -on -one time with the wildlife. <laughs> all right, so all that and more in this season of the Grand Black Safari. But first, on this episode, I get tired in the water, Kula takes photos and I point at G+. <laughs> That has to be the worst introduction I've ever had to a series. But anyway, let me try this, yeah? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so Sana tries to speak in Kikuyu. Uhoro, like, what does that mean again? Uhoro Natala. I float down the river. Mm, okay, this is hard. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so KG sends us to Sagana and we have no idea what to expect. But before embarking on our journey, we had to make sure that we were able to get there safely. You know, I swear, it, it's, it's like KG is watching our every move. I know. How did you even know we'll stop at that shell though? You know, right? Hey, so why is he sending us to Sagana? I mean, what's, what happens in Sagana? <laughs> I have no idea. But I've heard of water rafting or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> water rafting? Mm-hmm. If I was wearing a dress, what would happen? How would I be doing water rafting in a dress? <laughs> Speaking of short dresses, would you believe there's a time I almost got arrested for making a bad joke? Kula, first of all, number one, I didn't say short dress. Okay? I didn't say short dress. Number two, Kuni, <laughs> you're that guy for ninning. Or you would like wearing dresses sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I listen. I just come from the gym in very short shorts. Short shorts? Yes. Right. I did not say I was wearing a dress. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this cop pulls me over. I can clearly see I'm from the gym. Kumbawa when you move to your gym, 
It's like, you know, it's a good way to take care of the body. That's not even fair. So I make a joke and go like, the body is actually wrapped in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you even say that? The cop almost died. My goodness. Anyway, I almost got shot. So, I mean, paintballing, that should be very easy, trust me. That Yo. should be very easy. I've had fun paintballing, although there's one time I got a blood clot. I could not wear a short dress after that. Now, speaking of short dresses, <laughs> but eh, let me tell you. Peter is my name. Kula is my name. Pressure. Nice Welcome to, to Rapids Young. Thank you, man. Yes. Hi. Hi. Yes. Now. Wow, this looks. Uh... Here we are. Now in Kirinyaga County, we to cross over to Moranga County. We're going to so cross this over the boundary. To yes. Wow. Okay. And note, this is one of the big rivers, which has a stretch of seven or eight kilometers. Oh my goodness. And this is when you talk of the Upper Tana, and when you talk of the Tana River, yes. you talk of he pours in the crocs. Are they there? <coughs> what do you know of the Tana? <coughs> yes. Please don't tell me that. Okay, you know what? It's okay, he can go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look at someone getting scared already. Look at someone getting scared already. Yeah, you follow me guys, you need to move. Okay guys, let's move. Pula, let's move. <laughs> Um, sorry. Now we need to go to the other side way in Kirinyaga County, so we need to cross over to Moranga County. But what borders us in between the two counties is the Upper Tana, where we have the hippos and the crocs. Okay. So we need to cross over, guys. Hippos and the crocs. Side. Yes. I'm, <coughs> I'm afraid of bridges. Like yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, guys. Really? For me, I don't worry. Where Peter stops, that's exactly where I'm I stepping, trust me. This is scary, trust me. <laughs> don't, don't do that, this don't do that. This is actually not so bad, it's not so bad. Now that is bad. <laughs> hey guys, just up, let's go. <laughs> scary cat. You're a scary cat. I'm not. Adjudicators, teachers, and fellow students, join me in opposing the motion that uh, boys are better than girls. Yeah, we're yes. about to get started for first activity, but before then, we need to put on our safety gears. Mm -hmm. The very first thing is the life jacket. There you go. So for the life jacket, what you need to So, this is how you're gonna do it. This is you have to open up the lid. And then, there you go. And I think you should be minus your glasses, dear. Okay. Unless you want to donate them to the fish. <laughs> there you okay. go. Having your gears. So once you have your... Wow! Make sure that your life jacket is properly fitting. Okay. Not too loose and not too tight. It's on! It's so on, by the way. You just wait. Mm The plan was to try to get to the waterfall. We were running very low on humility and the competition spread was at its highest.
My plan was to paddle as hard as I could to get to the waterfall before Sana. Seeing as she had decided it was a school's debate session that girls were better than boys. I had made my bed and I had to lie in it. Really, it was all my fault that we were competing. I knew Kula was one competitive guy, but so was my mouth. This went on until I got tired and the current wasn't as accommodating as I'd hoped. We had to change the strategy though, if we were going to see what's behind the waterfall. The instructions was to acquaint ourselves with the waterfall, a huge challenge that was coming next. And going behind the waterfall was one sure way of getting to acquaint ourselves with the water. Going behind the waterfall wasn't the challenge. The challenge was getting out. Imagine taking a shower with no netted shower head and with water. A lot of water falling 40 feet. It was quite the experience. Extremely scary, but extremely fun. We were then to move on to the second challenge of the day, still within the same theme of acquainting ourselves with the water. Plunging down the waterfall. Clearly Kula was still in his competitive spirit. He didn't even think about it. It was like he was jumping a small puddle of water. His plunge was made to motivate me to plunge as well, but that wasn't the case. What if I plunged then disappeared? What if it wasn't deep enough? What if I wasn't heavy enough and the wind would blow me away? Possibly towards where hippos and crocs hide? What if there was a loose hippo right under there and I landed on his eye? That wouldn't be nice. I however remembered that there was some competition going on between Kula and I and that I'd called him a scaredy cat severely. I had to do it. The huge challenge of the day was zip lining across the length of the river. Seemed easy enough. It made sense why we were meant to acquaint ourselves with the water. This seemed easy seeing as we were not afraid of falling on the water. We had plunged 40 feet. What we didn't expect though is the bungee cord at the end. To be honest, I thought I had died. I closed my eyes at the end once I realized I wasn't stopping and waited to see the bright light. Luckily, I hadn't eaten yet, otherwise I'm not sure I would still have it in me to hold anything. I felt all sorts of feelings at the time. I secretly hoped Sana hadn't seen what had happened at the end so she could experience the same exact thing. Zip lining. I had ziplined before, not across a river and definitely not to my death. The bounce. First of all, my wig went halfway and I was concentrating on the wig instead of the line. It was a moment of pure multitasking and a moment of pure childlike joy. For a second, I liked KG, my boss, for sending us to Sagana. Then, I remember that he is a cynical tyrant and very quickly came back to my senses. I've done the three craziest things in my life. One, waterfalls are falling on my head like stones. Two, 40 feet off the ground in the mid-air, I felt like going back out. Then hitting the ground, I hit it with my nose first. And third, 
the impact over here, I actually thought the whole thing was malfunctioning. I thought the whole thing was malfunctioning and I'm dead. But anyway, craziest fun ever. Really? You're weak? <laughs> now let me ask you, if it had fallen off in the river, would you have gone after it? Uh, depends. Is it a floater or a sinker? <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> Let me tell you, Kula, that thing could have floated all the way to the Indian Ocean if it needed to. <laughs> then why are you worried? We probably have gotten it while we're shooting episode two. Right? You are so silly. <laughs> <laughs> So here we are in central Kenya, uh, but this is where you have the Kikuyu tribe. Mm -hmm. And for the Kikuyu tribe, uh, they, used, uh, they had a lot, of, a lot of cultures. One of the cultures is they used to do is uh, goat slaughtering. For the goat slaughtering, they had different types of goat slaughtering. One of them was uh, when you do like this, they wanted the rains. Like right now, there are no rains. There are those people who, old men, would come and slaughter the goat. Mm -hmm. uh, this should be done under the Mugumo tree. Okay. And not everybody will do that. This is only done by old men. Only that really pass that age of... <laughs> what is that age? Uh, that is like should, 70, 80 years. Yes. Running after young girls. Yeah, they are not after women anymore. Maybe once in a group. <laughs> they already passed that age. Okay, okay. Uh, that was only him. And that was only done in a, in a Mugumo tree. Of which the Mugumo tree is really sacred. Okay. For the for the Kikuyu people, nobody can even be attached or cut a mugumo tree. Why is that? It's it's brief to be cultured. This is where you find like they they believe this is where the god used oh. to dwell and this that's why they used to do the sacrifices. Okay, okay. Then I seeing they also had that other kind of uh, good suffering. This is when in terms of cleansing, maybe somebody had done something evil and he wants to be cleansed. He used to say, Kuhurona Tara, that is but then you have need to, to go. Needs. Yeah, it needs to go. They also, in terms of when they are. I know. He's answering your questions like that. I, I know. mean, what is it? <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Uhoro, like, what does that mean again? Uhoro Natala. Kusafisha roho. You see, the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the stomach, it had some, when the food, the food eats, mm. it's that kind of stuff that gets in. Mm -hmm. You and your skin cook with it. Yeah. Okay. It's a, it's a, it's a kind of. Uh, uh, yes. I, was, I wasn't too uh, far. Yeah, who they believed on goats. And most of their cultures were based on goats. Which the goat they should slaughter mm. at this time. So they were like, all their sacrifices or culture, mostly what united them was by blood. And by slaughtering was one of them that would put them together. Mm. Yes, depending on what occasion. Beautiful culture, right? Now, some of them. But there are those that really they are passed by. By time? By time. Really? But it's a culture. I it's mean, a culture, it's but culture, now. Or maybe the gods are not there anymore. Yeah, because <laughs> with the religion, some of them have. Done. Oh, that is true. Yes, that is true. Okay. Yeah, welcome to the Rapids Camp. Asante, sir. Thank you. Yes. Rapids Camp uh, lies between two counties of Kurinyaga County and Murana County. Oh, Muranyaga. Mm. Muranga. Yeah? Smart. And, uh, yeah. Sorry. Yes. <coughs> Please keep going. Yes. yes. And and we have quite a number of activities. Uh, uh, about twenty three, which we have rafting, we have team building, we have um, um, a zip lining, mm. we have the planch we diving did, we, forty. We did that. Yes, you did that. My you goodness. see how amazing it was. Amazing. Yes. No, no, no. It was like course. near death. I, I know you were not breathing, but uh, but it was great. It was great. <laughs> I know you'll come back again. This one, this one uh, coming water, back, uh, we have vibrator, we have rock climbing, yeah. we have uh, upselling, which is a new product. Okay. Uh, yes, coming down the waterfall with the rope. Mm. Yeah, and we still have more geckos, we have um, uh, river swims, so we do fishing here. We have a lot to do. A lot, a lot more to yes, do. Yes, yes. Of I course, mean, we have already than, done many of Yeah, those I mean, powers. the zip lining was like, you know, yes. the whole bounce back. I was like, okay, one way I am ready to stop. Yes. You know, and then you just figure out that it's bringing you back and yes. you're just like, oh my goodness. Yes. How was it? You, you, how was the thrill? I mean, it was great. The plunging for me. I am not using words like thrill and amazing. Yes. <laughs> no, okay, fine. It, yeah. it really was. It yes. really was. I think, like you called it, the no, bucket, the some, bucket list. Some, sum it in one word. Afraid. <laughs> That's what you were the yeah, whole it was, time. Yes. It was nice. I must say. Yes. I must say. Thank you. You guys are adrenaline junkie. You're junkie guys. <gasps> yeah, well, we I tried. You did it. 
Yeah, you we didn't tried. try. You swallowed water over there. You're telling people you tried. What did you try? <laughs> okay, let's yeah, ignore her. Awesome. Let's ignore her. It was really let's awesome. And we'll her. definitely come back to do more of the activities. Yes, like the yes fire, definitely. Yeah, right, I think right. we need to know what that yes, is. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. That. Asante. Okay. Asante. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Water swallower. Anyway, so we were then to head off to the White Rhino Hotel for dinner and breakfast the following day. Hi. Uh, oh, hi. Welcome to White Side Nonyeri. Uh, hi. Sana. How are you? I'm good. Good. How was your journey? Oh, journey was long. It was long. Yes, it okay, is. Okay, but now you're at the right place to rest. Mm -hmm. I swear to God, we just want to marry this chicken, have little chicklets, and run away. We live happily ever after at White Rhino Hotel. Do you know how crazy mm. you sound? My God. Anyway, let me tell you what this reminds me of. Mm. My childhood. Hmm? When I was able to walk without support, how that graduated to running, and how all that has engineered for me to be here today, to cure this chicken. <laughs> so this time I came to White Rhino Hotel and I had this stick. This stick was made from a very good Christian cow. Mm. <laughs> not smoking, not drinking, but how? doing squats every day, not the terrible ones that look like a bow. Oh my, oh my. <laughs> Minimum fat, how could she allow? Not the sleeping ones, but the nice village cow. Whoo! <laughs> I'm so glad you're not a musician. I'm <clears throat> um, really. It has saved the world. What was that? How? Bow? Go? You see, you're saying it. It actually sounds, it sounds nice, right? Okay, no, it doesn't. It really doesn't. Stop. <clears throat> Stick to this. This thing that you do here. Looking good, right? No, keep your day job. That's what I mean. Looking good. <laughs> That's my day job. You're so silly. To be honest, <laughs> Nyeri is a well-hidden gem that more people need to travel to. Mm -hmm. No, the ambience of this national heritage, White Rhino Hotel, is to die for. KG. What does it say? Okay, so lady and gentlemen, the first elephant appears at the Salt Lake in an hour's time. His name is Njogu and you can tell it's him by his unusually long trunk. About 15 minutes after, a whole herd appears making it hard to identify Njogu. Njogu responds to human cues. Mm. There's a challenge. So your challenge for today is to take a proper picture of Njogu doing something unique. Ooh. This guy. That will be hard. Okay. So we need to... It's an hour's time. Let's just go. Mm. Really? Let me have to ask. No, no, Finish no. My... Jesus. Mm. Hey, I'm 
telling you today morning eh? mm-hmm. yeah, my cup of tea turned into ice tea real quick these Nyeri folks must have learned how to take their, their tea really fast eh? anyway I, I won't lie it's cold it really is cold it But, is okay so here's the thing what's the one household appliance that you think is least bought in Nyeri uh, I don't know really even with your iced tea the fridge hmm. no seriously do they do they look like they need a fridge you just go hmm. outside and put your cup hmm. <laughs> Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Very fine. Thank you. Welcome to the ARC. My name is Charles. I'm the ARC captain. Okay. Asante sana. Thank you so much for choosing to come to be with us. Asante. It's a big honor to have you with us. We've got a bell in every room. So the moment you happen to hear one sound, then it means we've got elephant outside the ARC. Okay. When you hear two rings, it means there's a black rhino outside the ARC. Three rings for a leopard. Oh my. Four rings for any other rare sighting. Okay. So anytime you hear the bell, kindly come out of your rooms and go on the front side where we've got balconies overlooking the animal watering hole mm-hmm. to see these animals. Okay. We've got four decks and our main balcony is a cedar for. Okay. At cedar for, we've got our dining room, we've got a fireplace and the human watering hole. Okay. Let's us about the human watering hole. Mm. And then we have lunch prepared for you. All right. Uh, um, that's Four that's the best part. Four o'clock, we yeah. have the best coffee part. and tea. Okay. Dinner tonight between half past seven till nine o'clock. Mm-hmm. And then the rest of the program, we can arrange it later on during our stay. Asante. Karibuni sana and feel at home. You know, when I was a kiddo, my nickname was Simba. Simba? Mm-hmm. Thank you, Now it's what? Nyati. Fisi. Fisi. Oh, wow. I did not see that. And so, mostly on daily basis, at 5 o'clock, we usually assemble here with our guests. Uh-huh. This is where we usually do bird feeding. Uh-huh. For the National Park, there has been recorded over 250 different species of birds. So, at times, we get to sample what we have at loud 5 o'clock in the evening. Can you imagine zip lining there? So what are you even imagining? Quite really? ac- across. That, no, that's the one thing I just see. And then now, so you're going to land over there? Mm-hmm. Immediately you just see... Okay, what, what animal am I thinking about? No, I'm just thinking about a lion. Leopard. leopard. A leopard. A leopard is just chilled. You know how they can jump, eh? The last time we saw leopard here was two days ago. Oh my. That was allowed five o'clock in the evening as we were coming for bird washing. Mm-hmm. Ah. So, anytime the animals are in their natural habitat, you can show out. Okay. One hour ago we had more than 20 elephants here. Yeah. So probably more might be coming. Uh, but the National Park there's a population of more than 2000 elephants. Okay. And they keep they keep roaming around and coming any time. Okay. So we hope in the time from now we may be getting to see them. This has got to be Jogo, right? Look at me, I, that's your headache, eh? Me? I just want to take photos. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's amazing to see an elephant right in front of your eyes. It's This thing is huge! It's beautiful. Wow. I see how it's drinking water. It's supposed to drink with its trunk. It's putting it in. It is drinking with its trunk. No, it's putting the water and then throw it inside. Yes. I thought it's just siphoning. The straw. But it is the straw, and then you put it back. <laughs> I swear. We're going to blur it out. There, there. Mm. 
That's clear enough. Let me bring him even closer. Mm. Let me bring him closer. To... No, no, please focus on your food. Oh, awesome. are you sure you want to say the same thing? <laughs> <laughs> are you sure? That is awesome. Uh, now, what knife is for what? So, now please help. I'm helping you now. Huh? I'm helping you. Now. What knife is for what now? Steak. <laughs> mm. Mm. The serving is awesome, but I'm too hungry. I have to mess it up. Oh no. Hey, this guy's going to kill us. You know what? Let's take a few bites. <laughs> you, you take a few bites. I need to see what's going on. He's seeing this. Hmm. Okay. Let us see. Oh, it's addressed to you, Kula. Oh, what are you saying? I hope by now you figured it out. There is no elephant by the name Jogo. Oh, you're gonna hate this guy even more. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Apparently, Njogu is actually elephant in Kikuyu. What? Like, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> wow, wow, me, wow, 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 wow. I swear to God, I've been fooled. I, I was busy calling Njogu. Um, yeah, no. Anyway, so it goes on. I think this is actually this guy. Okay. So it says you are in the Abadea National Park. So do a game drive and see what the camera, an 18 to 55 millimeter lens hidden somewhere in your car can do. Ooh. Nice. There is also a surprise. Some cash. Cash? For the first one to find it. Fifty bob. I do what? So it was late in the day, and of course our chances of seeing animals were like, like nil to none. However, we did try, uh -huh. and knowing our boss KG, uh, it was a fool's errand. Either way, he decided to send us over to the Abadea Country Club the following day so we can enjoy one-on-one -on -one time with the wildlife. 20k finish. So you would have walked. Hello. Hi. Welcome. Welcome. How are you? Abadea Country Club. Fine, thank you. Thank Hi, you. How are you? Fine, thank you. Sniper Tanda is my name. Welcome, pleasure. This one doesn't have a name. Clearly, he didn't introduce himself. No, everyone knows my name. It's Kula Budi. I see everyone. Oh, mm. goodness. Oh, goodness. <laughs> you see, he did ask. Mm. He did ask. Asante Sala. Correct. Okay. <laughs> Don't maybe you can tell us about this place and what to, exp to, to expect because they also if there are lions, me just tell me now. I chomoka. Yes. You chomoka out of, the, out of the car. No, as in I go back. Did, did you hear that? Did you hear that statement? <laughs> she wants to know if they are lions, so she can chomoka from the car. I keep saying it all the time. Masai blood. Once they know us, they know. <coughs> anyway, okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, so keep rest assured, no lions. Mm -hmm. We only have the leopard here. Okay. We have loads of uh, game. We have giraffe, mm -hmm. zebra, the eland, mm -hmm. impala, and uh, a lot of insects and. Uh, 
bird species. Mm -hmm. It's a bird in area. So, mm -hmm. yeah, what to see? Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so the, and, and about the place itself, like uh, yeah, I, so I hear this used to be somebody's home. It used to be a home. Yeah. Of somebody called the, the family was called the Gates family. <laughs> One person owned all this. All this. Yes. All this thirteen hundred acres. Wow. Okay. And I'm sorry, I'm going to cut you short. Uh -huh. See you guys. I know, right? There we go. We and that's an impala, yeah, the small one. Yes. How are they with with people? Like so very very timid. So if we get very close, mm. they will tend to run away. But from this distance, it's okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Elephants. <laughs> the only big animal we have here is a giraffe. So they are our giants here, towering to about five meters, it's about eighteen feet. Uh -huh. So the whole leg is about Sana's height. <laughs> oh yeah, probably. Even it's good stuff, dang yes. uh -huh. Thank you for throwing yourself in that mix. And when the young are born, they are really six feet. Oh, wow. exactly, Sana's height. I'm not. I'm not there. See the way they're looking at us. Very curious, yeah. We can't get too close. Yeah? With the car, they tend to be more braver, but if you're on foot, mm -hmm. are you sure they're not gonna kick the car or get on top? Oh, those, those are teenagers. Yeah, these are they're young. young. And their mom is close by, she's very protective. She's a child. Wow. They used to use the giraffe tail as a bike rice. So uh, a gent would take the tail to the ladies' folks. And this would be uh, like an added bonus for him to win them over. The tribe? Uh, African tribes. Oh, African tribes? Yeah. There's only one species of giraffe here. Yes. Yes. Which is the reticulated giraffe. Oh, Retic there are different species. There, yeah, you know, there giraffe has giraffe. Okay, yeah. now, no, now there's reticulated, yeah. which is what you're yeah. seeing, uh -huh. and then there's the Maasai, which there's I know. The Maasai. That other one I can't pronounce. Rothschild. Rothschild. Yeah. Yes. What's the difference between? Because I know there's there's bush bucks yes. and there's water bucks. Yes. So water bucks are. So water buck, even as the name suggests, mm. need to be not too far from a water source. So there's a water need source around here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So they don't go too far from the yeah, from the never watering find area. Too far from water. Okay. Yes. Bush bucks, obviously. The bush. Yes. You're a genius. I know. Bush bucks, bush. Yeah. Very smart. Then of course the zebras over there. Yep. All right. <laughs> oh. Joy. Oh, thanks, Joy. Here's another one. And the way I have chocolate, this guy wants to add stress, eh? Okay. Hi, guys. It's not even like dear, as in it's been so long. <laughs> anyway, so he says, indeed, traveling is for everyone and it is fun. So your trip cost 54,000 Kenya shillings. It's just 54. Yeah, so if you think about it, that's actually 27,000 per person. He talks about saving over here. So if you save over a period of three months, that's 9K per month. A month, yes. And if you're saving weekly, do the math, do the math. It's about 2,250. 2, 2,250 shillings if you're saving weekly. He says, see you next week for your next adventure. KG. This guy will kill us. <laughs> me, I'm already I'm telling there. You, for now. This was beautiful. Don't talk to me for the next... Uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, so I came here alone. Hey, 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 hey. You're talking. <laughs> 